All right, what's going on, guys? I'm going to give you guys some solo queue strats for Cafe. And um, so starting off on the top floor, I'm going to go through a couple of couple of defense strats and a couple of attack strats that you can use. So yeah, starting off with this mute strat for top floor that I like to run sometimes. Um, you want to play mute with a shotgun. Kind of be doing that in general unless you can't control the SMG 11, and it's like that much of a problem. But for this strat, you need the shotgun to need to make balls. So I'll start off by making the rotate on site. Make some head holds up here for your teammates who aren't playing on site. Then you want to make some rotates here. And one in this closet, closet as well. In the bathroom part. Right. You should have like coals on this table, but with the shotgun, it's a bit awkward to make them. So you you kind of want an oryx to do that and to do this as well. But yeah. So now the 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 main idea of this strat is to hold down cigar. Um, and to do this, you you want to utilize the mute jammers. So I'll put a mute jammer close on this door here, so that nobody can drone from top red. I like. Like, it may get harder for them to drone it, at least. I'll put a drone here as well, just to catch any drones that come through. You also want to try and mute the red wall as well. Um, to do this, I put two on, because one mute jammer doesn't cover the full wall. Uh, so yeah, you want to reinforce it and put two mute jammers on there as well. Now, the one thing you have to be careful for with this strat... What you, also, sorry. You want to open up this hatch and make, uh, make a shotgun hole here. And you can make some, like, melee holes along here if you want to. It's up to you. I like to do that. Um, and the main sort of idea is that when, when somebody drops a red hatch, you can shoot them from the holes. Or you can, uh, like, swing around and shoot them from the, like, here. What I like to do as well sometimes is to play here. You can kind of put a shield here if you have somebody with a shield to put one there. Um, and play close to the shotgun. Or if you have, like, a duo, you can have, like, someone play Ella shotgun here. And then you do your meat jammers and stuff. And then you can, like, you can either back them up. Or you can, like, do something else. but And have them play here with the Ella shield if you want to, like, a duo strap. Because the LR shotgun is wild for that, for that like swinging this. But the the big sort of thing you have to be careful for when you're playing in this area is this window here. So if you can, like, instead, um, if you can get one of your randoms to play castle and castle off this door, like just just for one of their castles, um, and then you can like safely play around this spot, play around this spot, play around here. If not, you're kind of stuck either playing in this position where you're not visible from the window. Or like like by that I mean tucked up here, or either playing in this position like where you can't move between the two because somebody's on this window, unless you're like you're good enough for you you already knowing your surroundings to know that okay no one's on this window I'm, I'm alright to like as long as you're good enough to keep a mental check on this window make sure nobody's on it you're good to sort of rotate around how you want, but yeah they, this is really strong for holding down the red stairs drop because anybody that drops yeah you just shoot them like it's just a one pump, um and it's hard to clear you out. And then if you need to leave, you can just like step back and drop and get out. So it's like it's a really safe position to play, and like good for like holding them off from pushing even in the building. All right, so now I'm going to show you a pretty cool strat with Fenrir on kitchen that I like to run nearly all the time. Um, for this, it you, you kind of want to start by playing off a little bit aggressive and then sort of fall back to site. And I'm gonna, I'll show you first of all, I'll show you where the Fenrirs go. So the first one I like to put it up here in this like shelf. The reason why is because. It's better if you put it on the side so it's like harder for them to see it. Like that. And nice, it's got stuck on the... Okay, I don't know how that works. Okay, if you want it you want it to be flat on that wall basically. I don't know how it's got like that. But generally when you expect a Fenrir, you'll expect it like in the doorway. So like they'll be ready for one up here. But there's nothing here, so then they'll just push in. And think they're safe. And then by the time they get to this point, they're visible to so many angles on site. And then they start like popping the Fenrir. So like at this point then you can either swing from this window or swing from anywhere and like kill them for free because they're fully blind stuck behind like because they're, they're caught out in no man's land with nowhere to go they have to run back and if you swing that prep window you'll kill them easily when they're running back so that's one of them uh the next fenrir i like to put in coat and you want to have me hold here as well and reinforce the wall next to it so the next fenrir is in coat this is just to see if anybody jumps in coat like uh later on in the round i'll, I'll tell you when you should pop these and like where uh, uh how and shit like that I also put one here just for info, and this one I activate like from the start and just leave it activated. Um, and I also put one underneath this. One of my favourite things to do is put Fenrir as like underneath things or inside things like in that. Just because it's like they're out of the ordinary like places to look at. Like nobody's going to look at that and it'll still pop and kill them like and blind them sorry. For the next one I put it in these shelves here just in case anybody walks in from garage and this as well I, I instantly activate from the start. So the, the, the main idea that I do with this is to start off playing in this uh, bar and again I can, I can like be aggressive on these like kind of first initial bushes like kill some drones 
Um, and if nobody's on this window, I kind of like this sort of aggressively here. And then w wait here for somebody to pop this Fenrir, like walk in and pop it, and then I can just swing them. And obviously, um, after that, like I'll try and get a kill there and then try and like back off if I can. And, like usually, I can just run across this angle pretty safely. But you want to be careful for someone holding like a, a bullet hole or melee hole, sorry, in that. And then once I get like once I back off from that, I'll either deactivate that or it'll be shot or something. And then I'll come back and activate the coat one. Um, and then I'll also activate this one as well. And also, if the but if the stop pushing bakery, I'll deactivate one of these, like the hallway one, probably, and activate this one, just so I know that like that's safe to, to not not have to worry about that as much. Um, so then, when you're back on site now, you can like if let's say then they're not pushing bakery side, they're pushing bar side quite heavily. So you can activate this one and just wait for somebody to pop it. So I'll play like close here. Once as soon as it get pops, pops, I'll just like run out and start pre firing. Generally, if, if it gets popped, it'll pop from somebody that's jumped in cold, shot this one, and sort of pushing through the hallway. Um, so the, they'll generally be around here. So usually I'll kill them running back into court. Or it might also pop for somebody that's coming this double door, so you want to be careful for that initially and then check this. So yeah. But yeah, this is just really fun. And then, like, let's say they're going for a bakery take. I'll just deactivate one of these and then activate this one. And again, this what this uh, wedding one, just activate the whole time just for the info. And then as soon as this one pops, I can swing this window or I can swing from here. Shit like that. Just really fun and like easy to hold. I didn't mention the bulletproof camera, but generally I'll just kind of jump on the table in wedding and put it on the top of the table here. So I'm gonna just shoot this, jump on, and then put it up here. That's just where I put the bulletproof. So yeah, uh, onto the next shot. All right, so now we're on the, the first attack strat that I'm gonna show you. And this is actually one of my favorite rush strats in the game, like in the entire game to do. So uh, to do this, I play with the Mario with a shotgun. Um, I don't have it on right now because I didn't equip it in time, but you want to have a hard breach gadget as well. And all you need to do is spawn park. If you can, if you can during the prep race, get a, uh, get a drone uh, where I'm going to show you now. You can have a driver through here, which is a bit more risky. I'll drive it through like the white hallway. But you want to try and get a drone up in this sort of, uh, up in this shelf here. Yeah? Be careful, don't put it behind the radio because people shoot the radio, so I'll just kind of hide it there or something. And then I'll ask one of my teammates to get on it. They might say no, they might not get on it at that point, you kind of want to check it yourself before you jump in. Make sure you're safe, like stand here so you don't get peeked from the door. Quickly check it, make sure it's alright. Like make like see what you know, see what you can see on site. I don't like, I jump and then I jump into here, into the dining. But I don't like, uh, I don't put a drone up here. Because generally it is rare that I bump into anybody here. Like I'll jump in and I'll pre-aim this door for a second or two. Here if I see it, like, listen if I can hear any sounds. And if I can't then I'll just start going straight for the hatch. And I'll, obviously I'll harbour it because it'll be reinforced. By this point, I'll like, just really open it. And then you can either kind of jump on here and see if we can like, catch somebody off guard that doesn't expect you to be up top here. Or you can just jump straight into sight and start pressing sight. What I like to do is just come straight for this door and just push around this way. Because uh, if I go through here, I have to worry about this like long angle so I can't use the shotgun. I'll have to switch to this and try and fight it. But, so that, that, yeah, that's why I'll go around here and check this first. Make sure nobody's behind this. Nobody, make sure nobody's behind this bar. And then I start pushing it to the and try and get behind here. And then at this point, you can one like one shot down somebody that's in this double door. In this double door, not the double window. So like I just wait here for somebody to come try and push us. And then usually there'll be like a Roma come back to sight and I'll kill him from here or something. But at this point you you're in sight and you you've kind of it, it's like generally I'll get like two or three kills from this. If I like if I manage to get in alright and I'm I'm like get positioned here or positioned here, I'll usually get two or three kills from it. At least. Um, and then try and survive to, to enough for my teammates to realise like, what's going on, like I'm in sight and stuff. So yeah, on to the next shot. Alright, so I've got another another attack for the uh, for the kitchen site if you're not really into rushing. Um, and also because you can't rush every single round. So this one, you want to spawn river docks. And I, I like to play sledge just because I like the gun for like the, the long range fights. Because you, you're going to be taking some long range fights. Um, and what I'll do is I'll spawn river docks and come over this way. Check for this peak. And then I'll check this window for peaks, and I'll also like check this angle. And then I'll start come here. Um, in the prep phase, I'll try and get my drone like on this table here, or like underneath the table, or even underneath this table, um, just so I can get straight on it when I come when I get here. So I'll just like pretend I got my drone there. Um, I'll check what's going on. Usually, there's nothing, not a lot going on here unless unless they're holding it quite heavily. At that point, I'll either like re re readjust and go upstairs, maybe going through here and go down gold, because it's like an unexpected fight that early in the round. Or I'll just kind of, if it's okay, like if, if I don't see anything, I'll just jump straight in. And I'll just like listen for sounds a bit. I'll wait here in case somebody's like, I hear anything late rotating. Because generally people might be late getting up the hatch, getting the hatch or something. So they'll come down either white, or they'll come down gold or something. Or they might even go down red. 
but like here you can kind of like just sit here and like listen for everything and see what's going on um and early in the round you might get an easy pick just on this like on this angle here so there's someone like running around like wedding or run running out of sight trying to get in like trying to play ball or something if you get in like quite fast because you've like, got your pre-placed drone there you know it's okay you just jump straight in you can uh you can catch people off guard really quickly and at this at that, at that point if you catch someone off guard they're going to start scrambling around trying to refrag so you can either like just wait for wait for somebody to peek, get a refrag, or you can start pushing up in the court like I like I'm doing now. Make sure court's clear out like with a with a drone or something, or you can like bounce a nade off you. Make sure nobody's playing close. Jump in. You can also jump in with that nade so like it blocks the sound of the vault. Um there might be holes in this wall. You can use these holes to see in the site if there is any. And or you can start pushing this way. If there's no holes, I'll probably start trying to push around bakery side. If the um if there's no holes in this red wall, or because like at this point they know you're coming from this way because you've either got a kill or you've made a lot of sound, so you, if you're pushing this way they'll probably be ready for you. But you might be able to get like a pick on a bakery guy if you come around this way if there's no like holes in this wall to abuse. So I'll start trying to push bakery side. I'll just like see what's going on over here. But yeah, um, and then at that point I'll either like throw me out on the site or, or something like that. It's mainly just the the initial sort of push into the long board downstairs and hold that cross, hold this cross like uh, hallway, sorry, for 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 quite a while, maybe like a minute, and then start trying to push into site and like play off picks. Because generally in rank, people just runs in, run into angles all the time. So if you play off picks a lot of the time, you'll you'll succeed because because people just run into you, and you. If you're ready, as long as you're ready for the picks, like as long as you've gone up. Generally, a rank a lot of a lot of the times it comes down to if you've gone up or not. Which is like if you're going like like this, ready to shoot. Um, like if you get caught off guard sprinting, yeah, you don't have it takes longer to pull your gun up rather than just have your gun up ready. All right, so now I'm going to show you a bit of a, a fun thing that I like to do for attacking dining site, which is the the tertiary site. If you lose the top floor and use the bottom floor, they'll go dining reading. Um, and for this, you want to spawn Christmas. Come out here, check for spawn peaks. Um, and all, all I do is I go straight in bake. I play either book or I play sledge just for the like you can breach a lot of walls quite quietly. Um and I'll take like come take this angle and I'll just push up red stairs, like crouch walk up red. Because generally a lot of the times when you're defending this dining site you'll you'll focus heavily uh, on defending upstairs or you'll defend like other things. I find a lot of the time that trains really like left like for free. So I'll come here, hold this angle, listen for any sound. If I hear anything in I don't hear anything in mining and train and shit like that. I'll just push straight in here. Um and then I'll, I'll like hold this, I'll check for anybody pillar. You may get somebody to swing you from pillar. I like start running around pillar. Um, and then obviously I, I'm playing off sound a lot here, but if you if you're not like don't trust ears a lot, you can you can use a drone or something when you're in like a safe position and make sure everything's good. Check on the train, check on the even in the green train to make sure there's no uh, no rats about. And then at this point you, you, you I start pushing in the train, I'll hold this while I'm pushing in. And then uh, generally uh, these walls will be soft like uh, a lot well they should be reinforced but a lot of the times i find at least one of these are soft um and if you have your teammates with you you can get your teammate to sort of plant on this like backward like this on the on this if you if you get in here safe enough if not if you're alone there'll be like footholds in the wall you can just kind of like abuse these footholds and like an angles and, and footholds in the wall and shit like that to, to get picks on site and at that point they'll, they'll again they'll start scrambling and, and trying to figure out what's going on it's just basically a, it's an easy way to get into to the building and start causing a causing like a ruckus really easily and really quickly. So yeah, that's all I'm going to show you for this video. 